five minutes. So, um, just so you know. Oh, you forgot oh. what we're doing. Oh, well, we got to pray first. Oh, hell yeah. Many size soft drink, or just two minutes for a medium iced coffee. Who's got the TV on? Who's got the TV on? Lindsay has got the TV on. She's watching like um, some kind of like the office or something. All right, dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for our friends and and do ask your blessing on everybody tonight. Thank you for their health and their safety. And we just pray we have a, a good time, but we pray that we get to learn you more and um, and know how much you love us and care for us in your name. Amen. 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 So, so it's it's a light crowd, which is good. So we can goof around. And you know what? And these people who didn't show up, yeah. when it comes to the pop quiz, they're gonna be they're gonna be hurting. They're really gonna be hurting because they'll be ashamed because they're not gonna know some of these answers. Oh, yeah. uh, because you guys are here and they're not here tonight. So so take that, you guys. So here's what's coming up. Friday is craft night. If if that the supplies went out on Monday, they're on our Facebook. I, page. I didn't get the email. Why didn't you get the email? I sent them out. I don't know. Okay. Um, email me your email and I'll send it to okay. you. Okay. All right. All right. After this, I will. <laughs> so that's this Friday. Um, Sunday is, we have our Sunday class is now at 1230. Um, it's not on there. What's not on there? Just typed it. Oh. And then, um, so March 27th is a week from Saturday. We're having a photo scavenger hunt. So how this is going to work, you meet at the church. We're going to do this live. This is no Zoom. Let me do this just so everybody can see. What? So, so here's, here's what I want to do. I'm going to put a line through Zoom. It is not on Zoom. It's oh, live. Wow live and in person three o'clock so you meet by the church you stay in your car and i give you clues that you go out and take a photo like say if i find if i either in troy or rochester hill say i say take a photo of a basketball net so you take your cell phone and you take a picture or have somebody in your car take a photo of a basketball net and then you go on to the next clue and the next clue. And we're going to end up somewhere where we could eat. And I don't know if it's going to be like a pizza place or the Dairy Queen where we can eat in our cars. But that'll be the last okay. stop. So, so that is a photo scavenger hunt. Um, and then don't tell nobody, but April 11th, we're coming back into our class on Sunday morning. Yes. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell so, um, Will I say a little bit louder? <laughs> yes you could say it so what we're going to do we'll send out information on email we're having um, a meeting in a couple of weeks but we'll also send out information we're going to ask that we only have up to 35 people because we want to cool. keep socially distant and you have to wear masks everybody will be wearing a mask and and other than that, and if you can't go or you, you can't make it or you don't feel you should, I'm going to try to find somebody who can do it Facebook live while we're doing it. So you can stay home and get on the Facebook and our, and our page and watch uh, the Bible lesson that way. Let's see that way about it, Greg. Okay. Okay. So we're going to see how that works. We were, we were on earlier, we hope. Uh, we hope it works, and we hope everybody's safe, and it'll be great to see each other live and in person again, won't it? Man, yes. Man, it's been a long time. It's been a, yes. It's, it's, it's been, been a long it's time. A little over a yes, year. Too long. I'm, yeah. I'm glad we saw some people at some things over the summer, like the horse farm and the drive-in and the party in the parking lot. We want to do another party in the parking lot too this this summer. So plan on that. So what, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah cannot 
can't get on her computer because it, I think she's having problems with her computer. Okay. Well, you'll have to tell her all the answers so she doesn't get lost when we do a pop quiz in a couple of weeks. Hear me? And I kiss him. Okay. Here, here, that, that's the part that really disturbs me is knowing people get upset if they get a question wrong at the pop quiz. <laughs> so, very upsetting. Okay. Yes, it's very upsetting. I want everybody to succeed. <laughs> that, that was, honestly, you know why I like to call it pop quiz? It's kind of revenge for all those stinking teachers that did pop quizzes in high school. <laughs> Because I would start getting the shakes because I was not good at studying. I was not good. In fact, um, I don't know if I wasn't good. I just never did it, you know? And so when I heard pop quiz, I just, uh, I just kind of threw up my hands. Oh, well, there's another E. Um, <laughs> you know? I would, when you had multiple questions, I would do like a pattern, like the first one would be A and the second one would be B and the third one would be C. I would figure just by blind, blind luck, I would get some of them right. Yeah, yeah. Never worked. Never worked. I don't know. You should have oh. had me, Craig. You should have had me as a teacher. Oh, man. I was bad. Dude. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't um, figure it out until I was in college my second year that even if I applied myself a little, I could get these. And I found that right. out and I thought, oh, dad damn it. I spent, you know, all these years, you know, to, you know I would, here comes Sarah Ruffner. I would, um, I would uh, like study with my albums on, you know, and, you know, oh, there's Elton John, that's pretty cool. And then I get back to my math problem. Oh, that's Bob Seeger. That's pretty cool. And, and I'm going, where was I? Where was I? And I never really applied myself. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to mute everybody so we can Hi, listen. Greg. Hey, Zeke, how we doing? Okay, hey, Greg, how you guys doing? Do you guys Hi, doing? Okay, everybody's muted so we can listen to the video. This is Matthew 20... Six part four. So we will not make you watch. This is a tough one. We we spoke how this is. Here comes Big Mike. This is no longer a comedy. This is um, serious stuff. Hey, Big Mike, I'm gonna mute everybody. Hey, Mike. I I muted you. How did you do that? Okay. Um, hey, Mike. Hey. I am muting you. All right. So. Um, so here goes, but anyway, so yeah, this is Matt, and, and we're going to watch the whole thing this week. We only watched part of it last week, but our, our we don't have as many questions. I think we have one less question. So here we go. It's Matthew 26, um, and can everybody see that? Give me a thumbs up, Lydia, if you can see it. Yeah. All right. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. You know, I just want to stop. This is like at the beginning of 26, and they look at this dude's face. When I look at this video every time, I, I think they're saying, what the heck are you talking about, turned over? What do you mean, you know? And... We find out by the end of this video what he was talking about. But right now he's saying, you know, I'm going to be turned over. And they're probably going like, what? Anyway, I just found that interesting. He told them. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they plotted to arrest Jesus in some sly way and kill him. But not during the feast, they said. Well, there may be a riot among the people.
While Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of a man known as Simon the Leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? They asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price. And the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. I tell you the truth, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 silver coins. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and prepared the Passover. <laughs> when evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. very sad and began to say to him one after the other, Surely not I, Lord? Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go, just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said,
Jesus answered, Yes, it is you. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus told them, This very night, you will all fall away on account of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. I tell you the truth. Jesus answered, This very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me.
Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. My father! If it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed. <laughs> My father! <laughs> if it is not possible, this cup to be taken away unless I drink it. May your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near. And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise. Let us go. comes my betrayer. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd, armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. One I kiss is the man. Arrest him.
going at once to Jesus, Judas said. Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. Jesus replied, Friend, do what you came for. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it out and struck the servant of the high priest, ah! cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place! Jesus said to him, For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. I think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels. But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? At that time, Jesus said to the crowd, Am I leading a rebellion that you come out with swords and clubs to capture me every day? I sat in the temple courts teaching you did not arrest me. This has all taken place that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they did not find any, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent. <laughs> the high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Yes, it is as you say. Jesus replied. But I say to all of you, in the future you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He's worthy of death. They answered. Then they spit in his face and struck him with their fists. Others slapped him and said, 
Prophesy to us, Christ. Who hit you? Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You also were with Jesus of Galilee, she said. But he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway where another girl saw him and said to the people there, This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know the man. standing there went up to Peter and said surely you're one of them for your accent gives you away then he began to call down curses on himself and he swore to them I don't know the man immediately a rooster crowed then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. All right. That is it. Unmute y'all self. Isn't it interesting how... You know, Peter, who, they, you know, in other uh, versions of scripture, other books, said it was Peter, the one who got his sword out and, and cut the ear off of this guy. But then just a little while later, he's denying who Christ is, that he ever knew him. Um, so, and, and that's very interesting why. I'm sure Linda Masterson will be able to tell us why. Um, why he did that. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to, um, this will wrap up. It's a pretty heavy, I am, I am so proud of you guys. It's a pretty heavy book in the Bible. Um, hey, so, there. okay. If you guys, yeah, if you guys could unmute, but not talk to each other so we could hear Linda, um, Linda's gonna, wrap up uh chapter 26 and uh verses 57 through 75 tonight that was right at the end all the, all the last like 20 chapters almost 18 or um uh verses anyway so so if linda if you're there um linda oh, is i think she's still muted she's muted yeah. Let me see if I could. She's muted. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh -oh. oh, let me, I guess, let me try. Unmute. Oh, there you go. All right. Can you hear me now? Yep. We can hear you now, Linda. Yeah. All right. First of all, I, before we get into the questions, I thought it was really interesting to note how Jesus prayed three times to his yeah. father. And if Jesus mm -hmm. needs to pray, we certainly need to pray. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He wants us to pray about everything, big and small. Obviously, that was a big thing. But um, through all the Gospels, Jesus... Um, Praise a lot about all kinds of things, and we're supposed to do that too. So, just a reminder there. He wants to hear all about what's going on with us. Okay, first question. After Jesus was arrested, the chief priests went looking for false evidence against him. Is that A, true, 
or B, false? I think it's false. Like, oh, I think it's true. I think it's A, true. I don't know. A, false. True. false, false. It's false. False. Uh, well, if if let me put it to you this way, and remember, I was a bad student in high school. <laughs> but if, if it's Wait, false, no, if, if it's false and it's false evidence, me? yeah, we can hear you, Kevin. If it's okay. false and it's false evidence, that's a double negative. So that would be positive, <laughs> wouldn't it? Sure, Greg. That's uh, no. Night anyway, um, uh, do you have your, um, you know how you could show us the verse, Greg, so we can see what it says? Yeah, let me, let me, let me look it up really quick and see if I can get to it. I, you know, I used to do that. I used to be. Right. That's what I mean. You used to show us the verse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, let me know if you cannot see. Um, if you cannot see this scripture, let me know because I might have to stop the share and reshare it. What do you see on your screen now? We see the questions. The questions. Okay. witnesses. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, so I, that's what it is. I can't do like a, an okay. easy back. No, okay. no, I got it. I got it right here because I think that's important. What, um, what it's verse? verse 59. 59. So, um, so here there we it is. go. Okay, listen up. Um, listen up. Here it is. It says the chief priest and so uh, Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence. False oh. evidence. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so, so the oh, answer the is A, true. And yeah, yeah. Oh. I said, I call it. It was right. true. It was we, we, we remember that for the, remember that for the quiz. We want to know oh, yeah. why, why were they looking for false evidence against Jesus? Why? What was going on? Oh, I know what it is. But they were it is still my kill, my guys. I don't know. Olivia, 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 don't need to hear this. Okay. I know what happened. So what it is is that they he was upset by the train, and then when he was trying to, um, when they cut off Peter, uh, Peter's ear off, they he kept um. Called, um, Judas. Judas, yeah, Judas, yeah. He chose Judas, yeah. Okay. Olivia, Lord. So, um, you know, re I remember through this whole story about Jesus, how the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin, all the Jewish leaders, they always okay. were against Jesus. Yeah, they right. were always looking for ways to. Um, Get him in trouble, and why? Why was that? What did they not? What bothered them about Jesus? Because Jesus was a Jew. Well, but they were too. He was. You are oh. right. But that wasn't uh, what was bothering them. Although, in a way, it was because. Um, anyway, any other ideas? Okay. Mm -hmm. Answer that one. They were upset because Jesus was teaching the people a new way, a new way and the truth about God. And they didn't like it because they still wanted to be in control. So, yes, even though he was Jewish, Kelly, you're right. He was yeah. teaching them a different way of looking at God. So. Anyway, let's go on. Isn't to... it, hey, Linda, I just wanted to, it wasn't, isn't it interesting that they couldn't arrest him based on real evidence? They had to make stuff up. So they, even the things that they believed um, wasn't enough. Uh, you know, they, in other words, what he was doing wasn't enough to get them arrested in, in the law, I guess. So they had to make up stuff that wasn't true. 
Um, I just thought that I, I just thought it was weird that they had to look for false evidence when they thought that he was. Boy, somebody's feedback is. Um, I'm gonna. I, I I got. I don't know who that is, but anyway, somebody's. Um, but anyway, it's just interesting if 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 what he was was a real honest threat, they wouldn't have to look for false evidence. The true evidence would be there. You yeah. know, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Maybe it's just me thinking that, but um, <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was a good just answer. Remember, so the, the real answer is A? Yep. For that last one? A, yeah. true. A. Okay, yes. so remember that for the quiz. Yep, That's yeah, right. remember that for the pop quiz. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the second question, which says, <clears throat> two witnesses came forward and told them that Jesus said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in A, a week or two, B, the morning, C, a blink of an eye, or D, three days. Three days. My three days. days. Yeah, three, three days. days. Well, let's look. Let's three look. Days. We can do this now that I'm set up. Let us. Um, I think it's look. three days. I think so, too. You think three Wait, days. Uh, let's see. I, I think it's right an A. I think, I think Zeke's right. Can you see it? it yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's three days. Three days, yes. And rebuild it in three, three days. days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, the big question that goes with that one, I think, is going to be kind of tough. So... This is a toughie. Everybody put on their thinking caps. Um, Jesus did not deny that he said he would rebuild the temple. What do you think he was talking about? And it shows us that in the book of John, Jesus said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up again. That's kind of a tough question. Yeah. He would what? rebuild it though. Ugh. Hold on, what number are we on? We well, are on uh, this, three the times back three back the, the, the question on the bottom. The page. Yeah. Right here. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a hint out there. E Easter is coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, good yeah. hint, John. Good uh, hint. Uh, oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah, what happened on Good Friday? Oh, Good Friday. I what think. happened? What happens on Good Friday? It's um. Jesus rose from the dead. No. Yeah, he rose from the dead. Before that, oh. before that, what oh. happened on Good Friday? Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. No. Palm Sunday. On Palm Good Sunday. Friday. Palm, Palm Sunday. Oh, Good Friday. No. I know that. I think he had the supper. That's right. Well, he was well, his man. He didn't have the supper. Like, You're all yeah. around it. You guys are so close. We hung. We just. Oh yeah. Did did he? What happened on when? When was the cross and Jesus dying on the cross? What day was that? You will Easter, Greg. No, that was Good Friday. That there was we good go. Friday. Oh, oh, oh. What'd she say? Good Friday. Good. Okay, I want to tell you something other than that. At my old church, you know what we did wow. on Good Friday? What? We, we take, everything was black. We couldn't see the window. Yeah. <laughs> well, so John was saying there's a clue there because how many more days until Jesus rose again? Three. Three. Three, three. yeah, three. Okay, so now go back and look at this about destroy the temple and in three days I will raise it up again. So what do you think he was talking about? He talked about it himself. Talking right. about himself. Good job, Z. Yeah, Z. Yeah. Yeah. Month is about he he is rebuilding the temple because he made the temple of himself. That's right. right. Very good. The yeah. heavenly father who received his spirit. But he did not find 
he did not find his bones on the ground, but I know we all played with them. Put that guy somewhere yeah. in the cave with a, a big stone wall. And, um, yeah. Him safe from the, from the the people who want to destroy him on the cross. And then, yeah. and, but they have no idea what he was buried in. We don't know because it is a fact, not a theory, but some people are atheists because they don't know what Christ looked like and they did not find his body or, or tomb. I don't know. It was done. But no, Zeke, I think you hit it right on the head. Yeah. He was yeah. talking yeah, about it. And one thing I want yeah. to say, the children of the light did that before Jesus was dead. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Boys have been caring. Yeah. 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 You're right, Big Mike. Don't be Mike. All right, should we go on to the third question on the top, which yep. says the high priest tore his clothes and charged Jesus with what? A, blasphemy, B, being mean, C, jaywalking, <laughs> Very good. Had, I don't think they had hey, jaywalking. Hey, hey, hey. I think jaywalking wasn't for a couple more years. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's hey. see though. Um, let me see. The, okay, so here's where it says the high priest tore his clothes and said, he has spoken blasphemy. Blasphemy. Yeah, yeah that one. Why do we need any more witnesses? We have all the witnesses we have, but we do, what do you think? So, yeah. Uh, okay, so now the big question is, what is blasphemy? And why do you think they charged Jesus with it? Any I ideas? What it means liar, liar. Yeah. Uh, means liar. And this? That's part of it, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he sacrificed from, uh, himself. He did oh. sacrifice himself, Mike. You're right. Good job, Mike. Yeah, good well, job. Well, do you remember um, Jesus was claiming to be God? Right. Yeah. And that's something that really upset the leaders because they couldn't believe that he was. Right. So to them, that was blasphemy. He was speaking against God. They oh, thought. yeah. I... But of course, we know Jesus is God, but they didn't believe that. So they thought it was blasphemy that he said that. Hey, Greg. Yeah. I got a good idea. Is he is he like um, sacrificing himself? That means he he didn't. Jesus had sacrificed himself. That he people say he's a Jews. People don't believe him. Yeah, well, he did sacrifice himself. himself Danny. If he if, the, right. if the priest wasn't saying he was a Jews, he make fun of him and spit him and start beating him up. And then Jesus said, and then people said, get off the cross and help save their people's life. Why are you gonna do that for? Yeah, well, yeah. he did go to the cross for us, Danny. You're right, and he did die for us. And and like Linda said, they were all Jews there. Uh, there were Roman soldiers later on and such, but they were all Jewish people. And some of them didn't think that Jesus was the Messiah that was promised to them uh, years and years and years ago. And they they had they had a false god, and he was the real god. So, yeah, good answer, Linda, with the blasphemy. That's really good. I, yeah. good. And I have a question about that. Yeah. I have a question about that, Greg. What's that? I've been I've, I've been I've been watching a um, a movie on Peerflex. The name of the movie is called Case for Quites. Mm -hmm. I'm telling a story about what happened to Jesus and like who who do those things to him like you know they have to know the facts what's right. going on to find the 
the baby bones of Jesus Christ and touching the robe of his clothes. Why they do that? Because they, I think some people are atheists because we don't know what, what happened before he was, he died on the cross for us. We don't know why. I saw this movie, it's so good. We just watch it together, and I mean it. We just watch right. it. There's an idea. Maybe we do that when we can all come back. Yeah. yeah. All right. He's all right, done. let's continue on. Now, this next question actually isn't in my portion of the chapter, but that's okay. I'll do it anyway. As Jesus was being arrested, one of the oh, disciples. Did I get it wrong? I did the, uh, uh, um, an earlier question. We had this question. one last week. Did we really? Oh, man. Yeah. Well, you know what? Then everybody will know the answer. So yes. let's yeah. do it. <laughs> As Jesus was being arrested, one of the disciples, which we know was Peter, pulled yeah. out a sword and cut off the ear from one of the soldiers. soldiers. What did Jesus tell that disciple? A, you should have used a gun. Uh, no. B, put your sword away. Put your sword away. C, awesome dude. <laughs> he hurry up and cut hey. off the other ear. B. B. Oh, I'm sort of I'm disappointed. <laughs> I could say B. Yeah, we had these last week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't right, save. Let's... I didn't save the right one because there was a couple of good questions about Peter denying Jesus. Yeah. Well, we're going to have that right now. That's okay, good. Okay. All right. Next question. Three times people came up to Peter and said that they saw him with Jesus. What did Peter do each time? A, he laughed. B, he denied that he knew Jesus. C, he said that he did not know Jesus. D, he punched him in the nose. Oh, I like that. Hey. Oh, nice. <laughs> I say A. B, A. I know what no, answer B, I, would, he didn't... I would want. It's B. It's B. I like that one. Punch. No, like, it's not. I don't think you denied. Yeah, I think it's B. I'll denied. look it up. I feel so bad that I, I didn't have. We had some good ones. Okay. Brad, you should have done that. I know. Yeah, I'm really ashamed of you, man. Yeah. Damn, Zeke. Um, I feel ashamed. Man, let me see. Thinking. Let me see. That was what I like. Punch uh, better. Peter disowns Jesus. I like punch. You know, it says fifty-six, but I don't think that's right. I think it's lower towards it seventy. Lower. It's yeah. uh, right at the end of the chapter. Yep, yep, that's right. I didn't put the right one. Yeah. Uh, I like after a, punch a little better. while, right here. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Um. Then he said, I do not know the man. Was that our answer? Well, to me, there he two denied. Of them. No, but he denied before them all. He yeah, denied he it. He, he denied, denied it, it up in um, Punch. He did again, like. He denied it. Oh, <laughs> oh in chapter, in uh, verse 72, he denied it again. No, he denied it again. I do not know the man. So, oh, okay. in my opinion, there are two correct answers to this one. Oh, so, mm -hmm. oh I, I know what the correct answers are. He punched Jeez. him in the nose. Oh, like no, 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 no. 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 Like I think you punched me about my nose. A B? <laughs> B? B? I think B and C work. B don't you? and C. Yeah. Wait no, a minute. no punching. There was no Wait punching back then. Read, my dog, go right listen, ahead, right? listen, you guys. Read number C. Read letter C again. The or uh, Linda. Right. It doesn't uh, have not in it. He said that he did not know Jesus. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> said that he did know Jesus. Oh, okay. C. My oh. bad. My bad. All right. B is the right answer. <laughs> uh, Nah, I threw Greg everybody is off. trying to. My buddy said he did not know Jesus. So, yeah, that was rude. That was not polite. Just, just, just for Linda's sake. That's not cool. Just if for you, Linda's don't sake. In Jesus, gang, I'll make it your favorite. If you don't believe in Jesus, how are you going to. If you don't believe in Jesus, 
If you don't believe in Jesus, man, Jesus is like, he oh, you don't say believe me. He did not That's believe not in Jesus. Jesus. Don't believe in Jesus. He denied that he knew him. Yeah, yeah he no, denied that he knew him. Knows. You're right. Mm. Okay. I that person. You mind of force. Last question on the bottom. Have you ever known anyone who denied Jesus? Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. 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 Judas. Judas yeah. did. That's right. Yeah, Judas did. Yeah. Judas did. But do you guys know anybody who don't believe in Jesus? Or no. maybe once did, but they don't anymore. I won't believe it. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Like, you know, this one. Yeah. My friends from school. Right. My friends from school. Like, from, from, from school. Um, I know we, we all have people in our families and our friendships of people that don't know Jesus, right? Or oh, don't my believe boyfriend, in him. My boyfriend doesn't know the Lord. And he's having some problems. Yeah. Oh. Well, and even some of us might know people who did love Jesus but don't know more. That's really denying him too, right? That's another yeah. way of knowing him. Yeah. But then really kind of walking away from him. Yeah, that's yeah. sad. That is sad. Thank well, you. Well, that was a good study. Sorry about screwing that up, Linda. I, I left the one question in from last week. No big deal. All right. Well, good, good job, job you guys. Linda. You guys are very, very good. Good job, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. D. Smith, could you do prayer requests if I go sure. around? Okay. Yep, I got a pad of paper. I'll tell you how bad a student I was. <laughs> even when oh, I boy. tried, even when I tried at Macomb, I was better, but it still took me five years at that two-year college. Five years. <laughs> I was I was taking so many classes at that school, they should have named a building after me. <laughs> but, but I I I ended up with two two-year degrees and I said I can't go no more. I just can't. There's there's something called diminishing returns, you know. <laughs> The benefits you're going to get isn't what you know, uh, uh, but I, I wish I tried I just, earlier. I took a re I took a reading class and did okay, but I took a math class and flunked out and said no I way. Know. I kept taking accounting. Why am I taking accounting? I don't like it. <laughs> Some, somebody told me it was pretty easy to get a degree in accounting, and I kept flunking. Oh, that's it. hard. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't like numbers. You know, I like them, but I don't like to look at them all day. Um, that's right. So Sarah Miller, have you got any prayer requests this week? No, I don't have any. Nothing, but you're going away Friday, right, Sarah? Yeah, I'm going away on um, Thursday. I'm leaving Thursday. Going away on Thursday for the weekend. So yeah. that we can pray Traveling. for that. Traveling, yep. Yeah. Yeah. How about Lydia? Lydia's in the oh, good. Okay, Danny, any prayer requests? Um, my sister came back from her doctor's appointment. Okay, so her sister was at a doctor's appointment. How about Christine? Yeah, for her knee, got knee surgery. Oh, knee oh, surgery, okay. Scott. Okay. Yeah, and then pray for Linda. Pray for um, Mike and Carrie. Today's Carrie's birthday was on today. Yeah, yeah. and Mike and, and Carrie Florida. are in Florida. So am I. Yep. No, you're not in Florida. We'll go, we're going to Florida in April. Oh, All right. I'm taking you back with me. So, Christine, whose birthday was last Tuesday. Any yep, prayer it was last Tuesday. Yep. She's 43. No. <laughs> 25, <laughs> so Serious? I got an Apple Watch. I got yeah, an Apple Watch. Oh, wow. Watch. Right. Ooh, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Any, any prayer any, for anything we can pray about, Christine? No, I don't have anything. Okay. okay. How about how about Casey? I'm um, just having a hard time with my schedule. Your schedule's still at work. Yeah, it's not doing good. Okay. Molly, okay. if you have any prayer requests, Molly, just unmute. If you don't, we can come back to you. Do well, I need to unmute? Am I unmuted? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're unmuted. We'll, we'll get to you. We'll get to you. Okay. 
Molly, uh, when you get to unmute, I'll come back. Oh, there she is. Hey, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, pray for Mr. and Mrs. Rampenthal's family here, please. Mr. and Mrs. Rampenthal family. R R Rosenthal? Rampenthal. R R Rampenthal? Yes. Okay. Fall. Okay. Okay. We'll pray for them. Anything about them we can pray for, Molly? That's probably not it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zeke. Yep. Anything? Yeah. I know the what you said about the virus who died. I can't. I can't wait to go back to school for real. All right. Cool. This is, the you know virus to go away for good. Virus. I want to play for my brother Jack. He is getting married to my to my best friend Amanda. Oh. And they all getting married in our. Well, I don't even think about it. But it will happen. I hope he's getting married to his best friend. Yeah. <laughs> that usually works yeah. better. He asked me to be his best man. Oh, 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 oh that would be nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See, good for I you. Can't wait to go back to camp. Good. Fun Hill Ranch. All right. I don't even think about it. Big Mike, can we pray about anything for you, buddy? Um, good job. Let's see. Um, I can I can play for my brothers for now. For your brothers? Yeah, his brothers. Okay. Yeah, some they are doing okay. So okay. life back uh, back to normal soon. Okay. Soon. All right. Your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Casey's telling them. All right, mm -hmm. Linda. Linda, anything from you? Your mom. Yes, I, I'd like continued prayer for my mom. Yeah. Um, to um, to what? Uh, be able to enjoy life again. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope so. Kelly, how about you? Anything we can pray about? Um, just I'm excited to see you guys. Yeah. 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 yeah that'll be good. Pray for me too, Greg. Yeah. Mr. Carver. Yeah, pray pray for uh, our kids and uh pray for the church pastors too. Yeah. I think they, they could use some prayer. Yes. Yep, yep. And Greg, I got another prayer, Chris. Pray for Don too. Who? Don, I remember her from uh, my Zion church. She came to our church. She knows you from Woodside. All right. Don, uh, friend of the That girl with the blonde hair. She was yep. uh, with Monica and um, Steve, Monica and Kevin. Okay. Yeah, pray for her. She just came by to see me. All right. She recognized me. Okay. Good. All right. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, what about me? Oh, Lindsay. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. She's in the dark. Or there she is. Hmm? Oh, she's I want to play the light of the room. my boyfriend. Zachariah. Yeah, he's eating again. He's getting better. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And please pray that I get my hand fixed. And okay. can you please pray for our family? Because we just lost our we just lost our my our great uncle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. And it's been a rough. Dave, it's been a rough week for all, all of my family members. Yeah, yeah. What about yeah. Sarah Ruffner? Will do. What about Sarah Ruffner? Where yeah, is she? Me. Forgot me. Oh, you keep sleeping. I oh, don't even you. know if you're awake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody wake up Sarah up Ruffner and see if she got a prayer yeah. request. Wake up, I'm dope. Oh. Yeah, it's got a coffee. <laughs> Next week, we're going to talk really soft and watch Sarah Ruffner sleep all night. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. Like 
Sarah Ruffner, do you have anything? That's funny. Keeps on bugging me and John. It's um, it's uh, Keith. He keeps on bugging us. Okay, and he's at school. Somebody at school bugging y'all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't get nervous, okay, Zilla. I'll go protect you. So, and D, D, <laughs> add, add yours as well. And everybody, if we could um, yeah. just kind of uh, keep it down a little bit so we can hear D. How, how about for you, Greg, for a change? Oh, we don't get to know, hear yours. Um, yeah, that's all yes, I'm going to I mean, yeah. just kind of for, for wisdom, I guess, and direction. Okay. But our, our family's in a good spot. Everybody's doing well, and we're all healthy. And I've got good. zero to complain about where, you know, it's... Um, yeah, just for clarity and wisdom. Okay. <laughs> Although it, it, I've I've needed wisdom a lot of years, as we can, as I've confessed to you guys tonight. So. <laughs> okay, we'll start. And that one, well, yeah. this, yes, we come before you, and we just ask that you hear our prayers, and we uh, humble ourselves before you, and just uh, give us wisdom, give us your will on all the following requests. I pray when Sarah goes on her trip that she'll have safety and traveling mercies. I thank you that Lydia is doing well and excited to see everybody and come back. I pray for Danny, his sister's uh, doctor appointment and the knee surgery that she may have to have. And I think of uh, Mike and Carrie and we thank you for them and Carrie's birthday. And Danny also remembers Dawn. And we thank you for Christine turning 25. And what a blessing Christine is to all of us. And we thank you for her wonderful smile and all the things she means to all of us. We pray for Casey and that, that schedule at Meyer would work out for her, that she would get a great schedule we yeah. thank uh, Molly's prayer request for <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Rappenthal. Whatever their needs are, God, you know their needs. Yeah. And I think of Zeke in all his requests that he'd like to go back to school, the virus to go away, and what a praise that yeah. he's the best man in yeah. his brother Jack's wedding. We thank you that his brother asked him to be best man. What a wonderful blessing. We think of Big Mike, his brothers, his job, and that he wants, we'd like all of us, that COVID to go away and have a little bit back to normal. We think for Linda that her mom, as she's 99, that she'd be able to enjoy whatever time God has for her. Uh, we're excited. Kelly's excited to see everyone. We're praying that everything goes well when we go back to church. Uh, John wants prayers for the pastors and all of us, all the uh, people that are involved in the ministry. Lindsay wants prayers for her boyfriend and to get her fixed. And I pray for Lindsay and Casey that their uncle that they lost that this has been a very hard week for them, that God would comfort them in the loss of their great uncle. I pray for Sarah, that they, this boy who's bothering them, that he would stop and that uh, whatever he's doing, it cease in Jesus' name. And for Greg, uh, for wisdom, for direction for the ministry. And we just thank you for Greg that all he does for this ministry and just uh, sustain him and his whole family in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dee. Thank, Thank you, you man. man. That was another Thanks. great, great. Look at Sarah Ruffner is sleeping. She is sleeping. Oh. Yeah, now she's asleep. <laughs> yeah, we're on here for 10 is more there, minutes. Um, She'd be snoring. Nice on her back. I wake her up. <laughs> I, I tell you, I'm not kidding you guys. Um, 
John Carver and I talked after last week. These Tuesday studies, you guys have been rocking it. Oh, you yeah. really yeah. have. Thank you, and I'm so proud of you guys. See you, Molly. Well, say goodbye to everybody. Bye. 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 Friday, Bye. Night, Bye. Night, Bye. Craft Bye. night, Friday night, Bye. craft night. Yeah, don't forget about Friday. Don't forget right, to see guys. Day too, Greg. Bye. Bye. Take care, Christine. Bye. Dick Kelly, see you, Linda. See you, see, you. Yeah. see you, Sarah and Christine. Happy belated Thank birthday. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Molly. Bye. See you, Dave. Mike. See you, Big Mike. See you, Dano. Yep. Take care, Kelly. See you, John. Yep. Take care, Greg. Yeah. John, I was in church I today. I saw that person, but he was busy. So oh, I'm yeah. going to be in tomorrow. If he's, I still don't see him, I'll email him this week. I'll just let you know that that gentleman you're talking about. Yes. He liked to give quizzes as well. <laughs> yes, he did. I would I would really fail those pop quizzes. Oh, those I? yeah, those are extra crispy. I know. Yeah. No, I know. All right. See you guys. Right, you guys have a good time. week. Yep. Bye. Bye, yeah, big Mike. Bye, Zeke.